Imagine buying a car so advanced that it powers itself, never needs charging, and breaks every rule of the auto industry. Now imagine this. The warranty on that car doesn't just cover the usual things. It hides a shocking twist that even Tesla and the biggest automakers never dare to offer. This is the story of Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered EV and the surprising warranty terms that have left experts stunned and buyers speechless. When Maxwell first unveiled his self-powered electric car, the world was already struggling to understand how a vehicle could run without ever plugging into a charger. But when his team released the official warranty documents, engineers, journalists, and buyers discovered something nobody expected. Unlike traditional EV warranties, which usually focus on battery degradation, Maxwell's warranty did not even mention battery replacement. Why? Because his self-powered EV doesn't rely on lithium-ion packs the way Tesla, BYD, or Rivian do. Instead, it runs on a proprietary energy box that continuously generates electricity on its own. But here's where it gets shocking. The warranty promised lifetime coverage on the energy unit. Number 8 year limit. No mileage cap. For as long as the car exists, the energy system is covered. Something unheard of in the industry. Analysts immediately began comparing this with Tesla's standard warranty, which caps at 8 years or 150,000 miles. Suddenly, Maxwell's promise seemed like more than just a warranty. It was a bold statement that his technology was so durable, so reliable, that he could risk offering lifetime protection without going bankrupt. Investors and rival automakers couldn't believe it. Was his confidence or pure marketing? Some whispered that this might signal a hidden breakthrough in his energy technology, something so stable it wouldn't degrade over time the way batteries do. Buyers, on the other hand, were ecstatic. For many, the warranty wasn't just a safety net. It was a declaration of trust. Imagine buying a car and being told, don't worry, your power source will outlast you. And just when people thought they had seen everything, another page of the warranty revealed an even deeper surprise. The second page of Maxwell's warranty sent shockwaves through the auto industry. Buried in the fine print, buyers noticed something that no other automaker had ever dared to include, coverage for extreme conditions. We're not talking about minor wear and tear. Maxwell's warranty boldly stated that the EV's energy box and drivetrain were guaranteed to work in any environment on Earth, from the scorching 50 degrees Celsius heat of the Sahara Desert to freezing minus 40 degrees Celsius cold of Siberia. That meant no excuses. No voided warranty if the car was used in sandstorms, floods, or heavy snow. Instead, Maxwell's team promised that the vehicle was designed to handle it all. For a global market, especially in Africa and Asia where roads can be unforgiving, this was more than reassurance. It was revolutionary. Journalists presses engineers for answers. How could they promise this without going bankrupt from claims? That's when Maxwell dropped another bombshell. The self-powered energy box had no moving parts that could wear down, no chemical cells to degrade, and no reliance on external infrastructure. It was, according to him, closer to a permanent generator than a conventional battery. Buyers who had been skeptical suddenly saw this as a new era in automotive ownership. Imagine never worrying about replacing a battery, never losing range in the winter, never hearing your warranty voided for improper conditions. Still, whispers grew louder. Industry inside it began asking, if Maxwell could offer such bulletproof guarantees, what exactly was inside this mysterious energy box? Some claimed was a form of advanced electromagnetic resonance. Others said it was an undisclosed military-grade technology. But then, just when everyone thought the warranty had given away all its secrets, another clause surfaced. And this one was even stranger. The third clause wasn't written in the same dry, legal tone as the rest of the warranty. Instead, it almost read like a challenge. It stated, In the event of global infrastructure failure, this vehicle shall remain fully operational as long as the energy box remains intact. The room went silent when this was read aloud at a press conference. What did Maxwell mean by global infrastructure failure? Power grids collapsing? Fuel shortages? Natural disasters? The implications were staggering. This wasn't just a car warning anymore. It was a survival guarantee. Buyers realized they weren't just purchasing a vehicle. They were investing in a machine that could keep running when the rest of the world went dark. 
One journalist asked the obvious question. Are you implying your EV can outlast civilization itself? Maxwell smiled faintly and replied, Let's just say we designed this not just for convenience, but for resilience. If the future becomes uncertain, people will still need to move, to travel, to survive. That's what this warranty is about. Suddenly, the self-powered EV wasn't just another car. It was being seen as a lifeline technology. Families imagined themselves never stranded. Governments saw strategic value. And survivalists were already calling it the apocalypse-proof vehicle. But that wasn't even the final shock. As reporters scrambled to print headlines, a buyer raised their hand and asked, So, if it works forever, what happens when the car itself gets too old? Does the warranty still cover that? Maxwell's answer made the entire audience gasp. Maxwell leaned forward, resting his hands on the podium. His expression turned serious, almost as if he'd been waiting for this very question. The car, he began slowly, is designed to evolve with its owner. That's why the warranty isn't just about repairs. It's about renewal. Confused murmurs rippled through the crowd. Renewal? What did that mean? Maxwell explained. The energy box at the core of the EV was built to last indefinitely. But the rest of the vehicle, the body, the frame, even the electronics, would naturally wear down over time. Instead of forcing buyers to scrap the car and buy a new one, Maxwell's company had designed a program where the energy box could be transferred into a brand new chassis at no extra cost. The audience erupted in shock. A warranty that not only covered unlimited miles and a lifetime energy supply, but also guaranteed you a new car body whenever the old one was no longer safe or functional. One journalist blurted out, Wait, are you saying your warranty makes us the last car anyone will ever need to buy? Maxwell simply nodded. Yes, if you own this car, you never need another one. The energy box is yours forever and will ensure it keeps moving you generation after generation. The reaction was explosive. Some clapped in disbelief. Others shouted questions, while a few skeptics whispered about how such a business model could even be sustainable. But for the buyers sitting in the room, one thing was clear. They weren't just buying a car. They were buying freedom from the system. Governments began to take notice. Economists raised alarms about what such technology could mean for the trillion-dollar automotive and oil industries. If cars no longer needed fuel, electricity, or replacement, entire sectors of the global economy could collapse. And just when the storm of questions reached its peak, Maxwell dropped one more bombshell. The room fell silent again as Maxwell raised his hand. Cameras zoomed in, pens froze above notepads, and attention was almost unbearable. You've all been asking the wrong question, Maxwell said, his voice calm but commanding. It's not about how long the car lasts or how much energy produces. The real question is, what happens when the car doesn't just power itself, but powers you? Gasp spread to the audience. Reporters exchanged stunned looks. Maxwell continued, The energy box inside this EV isn't limited to driving wheels. It can power an entire home, a hospital, a school, or even a whole village. One car isn't just transportation. It's a mobile power station. Imagine every household owning one, not just as a vehicle, but as an endless source of clean energy. A hand shot up from the back of the press pool. Are you suggesting your warranty covers household energy as well? Maxwell smiled faintly, not suggesting, confirming. Screens lit up across the room, showing footage of his prototype EVs in rural African villages. The cars weren't moving. They were parked. And yet, each one lit up dozens of homes, powered water pumps, and even kept medical equipment running in small clinics. The crowd erupted in shock. This wasn't just about changing how people drove. This was about rewriting how the world consumed energy. One engineer whispered to his colleague, If this scales, the oil industry is finished. Another journalist murmured, And the power grid, too. Who needs it when every car is its own generator? But Maxwell wasn't done. He leaned closer to the microphone, his eyes sharp, as if he was about to reveal the part nobody was ready to hear. Maxwell paused, letting the weight of his last word settle. Then he leaned into the microphone with a slow, deliberate intensity. The warranty doesn't just cover your EV, he declared. It guarantees lifetime access to free, renewable energy for your car, 
for your home, for your future. If this technology fails you, it fails me, and I don't plan on failing. The crowd erupted. Some cheered, some gasped, and others scrambled to send breaking news alerts to their networks. For a moment, it felt like the entire world had stopped to listen. In the back row, a Wall Street analyst whispered his neighbor, This isn't just a car. It's a declaration of independence from fossil fuels. Outside, protesters had gathered, some skeptical, some hopeful, looked up at giant screens broadcasting the press conference. As Maxwell's final words echoed, chants broke out. The future is here. The future is here. That night, every major news outlet across the globe carried the same headline. Right arrow, Maxwell's self-powered EV shakes the world. Free energy for all? Governments scrambled to assess the impact. Oil stocks wavered. Energy companies convened emergency meetings. And ordinary citizens from Africa to America to Asia began to dream of a world where the lights never went out and the bill never arrived. Maxwell, standing on the stage, watched the frenzy unfold. He knew the road ahead would be filled with resistance, lawsuits, and powerful enemies. But he also knew the truth. The era of limitless, self-powered energy had begun. And nothing, not even the world's most powerful industries, could stop it.